So now you guys have looked at uh, an old black and white cigarette ad. <laughs> I think from the 60s, and then a Duncan Hines uh, Brownies ad from the 70s. By the way, I worked on Duncan Hines. Um, cake mix and brownies that used to be owned by Procter & Gamble. Um, uh, was my first uh, job in advertising after I got my um, MBA. So, um, by the way, from those from the P and G ad, I hope you have a sense of a very strong Tabasco. Okay, particularly the support part, the side by side pour of the brownie mix. Um, one looking moister than the other one, and chocolate or chocolate, whatever it is. Um, and please be aware that um, Procter and Gamble um, would do video shoots of different things with the batter or the brownie mix or the cake. You know, close-up breaking shots of brownie with certain lighting, uh, with the cake mix. Uh, putting a fork down to pick up crumbs from the cake mix to see how they clung together to the fork, which would prove moistness. And then they would show these videos of support for the moistness and the great taste benefit. They'd show the visual support videos that they, they created to focus groups and ask and have them talk about it. That's how hard Procter and Gamble worked on having pictures that supported the benefit, FYI. And um, so, before we leave this piece about creative, um, know that um, more and more time is being devoted to ads, cable networks, etc. And there are more and more 15s, and less and less 30s. And you also know that there are technologies, there are ways to avoid ads, which is getting up and going to the kitchen for a sandwich or whatever you need to get up for. And then with TiVo and recorded devices, um, you try to fast forward and get through ads uh, if you can. Um, and by the way, if you hear snoring sounds in the background, that's my pug, Eloise. Uh, here is commercial clutter in prime time from 1990 to 2013, the number of commercials, uh, percentage change, the number of commercials, number of minutes, and the percentage change. And you can see how it went up in 2000, 2005. And this is from Nielsen. And you also see the growth of 15 second commercials right below it in the exhibit here with, um, 15-second commercials in prime time, what percentage of prime time it took in different uh, years and the growth of 15s, and not too many 60s. Any 60-second commercial was probably on its way to being an infomercial. And now we get to our our um, fluxometer here, um, video viewing trends by device. This is 2016, the end of the year. And uh, 18 to 34 year olds, very attractive demographic target for many advertisers. And you can see how video viewing trends are moving to PCs, tablets. Okay, I don't see tablets as being a big player in the future. I think the phones are getting too big. What do you guys think? How many of you have a tablet you use? I got my daughter one before college. That's the last I saw of it. Um, all going to video. So Now, who are the classic kind of big players in terms of networks? And who are some of these folks? And a lot of, there are a lot of mergers going on, as, there, as we've seen with so many, every one of the industries. So when we look at the overall marketplace in media, the medium ones are getting gobbled up by the big ones. And, Bigger and bigger, huge behemoth companies are being formed. NBC Universal is certainly one of them, but it's now Comcast NBC Universal, by the way. Comcast being a big cable player. Uh, okay. Text from my daughter. Okay. 
Um, ABC Disney. What, what do we know about that? Disney merged with the ABC network back in the, I want to say the 90s. Um, and uh, now Disney has bought all the entertainment properties of Fox. Right, folks? As in here, Fox keeps its news and sports. And Disney has all the entertainment properties. Uh, you know about uh, YouTube owned by Google, which is developing its own programming and it is its own phenomenon. I know lots of you watch things on YouTube. I know I do. I have my own YouTube channel, which is where I upload all these wonderful lectures, by the way. Hulu, which is owned by some of the major players in the network business, as a way to stream their content. CBS, more or less still there in TV as a network. We talked about Disney and Fox. Here are some of the cable players. These are the people who own the cables, the wires. Comcast is huge. Charter Spectrum is huge. AT&T is also in the cable business. Cable networks, some of which take ads, like ESPN, and but not HBO. So you've got different animals here, you know, lots and lots of cable networks, Discovery Channel, uh, and many others, cooking shows, taking ads, but others being subscriber only. So these are kind of a mixed bag, these cable networks. This is, again, a page that I stole from your textbook, which, even though it's a few years old, again, makes some pretty good uh, points. And this shows cable networks and the number of subscribers um, from TBS to TNT and on and on and on, AMC, Nickelodeon. These networks uh, take ads. And um, here's the number of channels received per household, changing and going up to 200 plus in 2015, and now it's a lot more. And even though they're 200 plus, you see the average number of stations people look at is, you know, 15 or 16. And here are, again, this is a few years old, but it, it, it makes the point. The major networks, ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC, who owns them? Right, CBS is Viacom, and I think uh, Viacom and CBS are pulled apart. Now they're going to merge again. Um, they also own, in addition to TV networks, they own some print. They own cable and satellite stations. They own digital internet properties. Some of them own radio stations. Some of them own outdoor. CBS doesn't actually own outdoor anymore. They um, set that up as a separate company called Outfront. And then other properties. Um, so it just shows, uh, this gives a sense of the breadth and how these major companies are owning more and more properties across more and more different media types. I said before that the Cable Advertising Bureau is now the Video Advertising Bureau. The Spot TV Association is now the, uh, well, there it is, tvb.org selling spot. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you these sites really quickly and I'll see you on the other side.